Hello, my name is Chris Young from Norbar Talk Tools, a talk manufacturer based in Banbury, Oxfordshire. We've been established since 1942 making talk products. There are times, and if we look at this example, where you're going to be working on assemblies which require a high level of torque. We've got two options. We can use a particularly large torque wrench where the manual handling might be a factor, or we could consider a torque multiplier. In this case, the HT3 with a factor of 5 to 1. That's to say, if we put in 200 newton meters, we're going to see a thousand newton meters on the output. So, as with any torque multiplier, we need to install a reaction arm. This comes on here by selecting a suitable socket. The assembly can be complete. We're now ready to apply our torque wrench and begin torquing this joint. Okay, so points to consider when installing your torque multiplier. Give careful consideration as to where your reaction is going to go. What we don't want to be doing is putting our hands between the reaction and its hard point. And when considering the hard point, it wants to be of a suitable strength to resist the force that's going to be applied. So we've now installed our multiplier into the joint we're going to be working on. So remembering this is the 5 to 1 ratio, if we now set our torque wrench to 200 newton meters, we're going to be delivering a thousand newton meters into the joint at the point of the wrench break.